So I'm back again at the London Golf Club with my coach Paul. We're going to be working on my irons because uh, lately they have not been playing well. I have a horrible flight, so looking forward to getting some tips and fixing my iron swing again. And this time we're headed down onto the Heritage on the first hole. Let's see what he can do. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching this video because today we will be working on my irons. I'm back down here at London Golf Club. I'm with Paul Stewart. Paul, thanks for joining me again and helping me on my golfing journey. Chloe, we're loving it. Uh, you know, the summer's approaching. Come, let's get yep. you play some good golf. Yes, right? absolutely. And so last, well, a couple of weeks ago, I had a driver lesson. And thank goodness I did because I had a tournament the following oh, week. Okay. I didn't know I was playing it. I thought it was a bit of fun. It was actually okay. a bit of a more of a serious tournament. And uh, it was really fun. And my driver was amazing. I hit some really big ones. Good. So really happy with that. But Good. I got a bit distracted from everything you showed me with my driver. I couldn't really put it into my iron swings. And, and that was... There were some shots going across the ground or some were in the air, but a lot were, you know, making it put me to shame. Oh, that's <laughs> a shame, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so you drove it well, yep. got to good position on the fairway, mm -hmm. you can hit your irons. Yeah. But come on in, let's have a little look. Okay. Looks like you bombed one down the first heritage. Yes. Nine irons <laughs> at the left edge of the green. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Okay. <laughs> yeah, same again, really, yep. isn't it? <laughs> that happens a lot, but also going across the ground. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Well, you're not quite finding your low point, and no. it's a lot to do with your posture okay. and the way your wrists are set at address. All right. So if you go to where you were. Okay, so I do this. Yep. So you're a little bit straight. I kind of feel you're a little bit like this. Yep. The hands are up a little bit, that's the tendency, <laughs> yep. right? Yeah, yeah. So what I'd like you to do is drop those hands down. Okay. So the butt of the club yep. would hit you at your belt buckle. Yep. You guys can see it, maybe lay your hands a bit yep. more. Okay. And we're just going to go a little bit more over like that. Oh, wow. Okay. You used to play tennis, didn't you? I did, yep. Kind of like you're receiving a serve at tennis. That's the okay. kind of feel you've got. All right. So let's see how that goes. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you can hear a completely different noise there, a little divot oh, around yeah. your low point. Yeah, okay. So that was all because I bent over a bit more and had that point in the belt buckle. Yeah, if you're, your, hand, your wrists are too straight. So if you turn around and see the camera for mm -hmm. the guys, if you... If you're too much like that, mm. as you take it back, you can't set the wrist properly. No. So if we get the hands down a little bit, mm. gives you a little bit of, let's go back and touch. Yep. It gives you a little bit of cupping in this left wrist, yep. and it allows you to set the wrists. You get a much better angle earlier in the swing. Okay. More energy, and you'll find your low point. Yeah, that works. Perfect. Thank Excellent. You. Good work. <laughs> beautiful. That was beautiful. Lovely hit. Okay, that is great. Okay, the green's over there though. <laughs> I wasn't looking at that. <laughs> we were focused on the swing. Yeah, I was, I was. Okay. Beautiful shot though. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. No Again, problem at all. helping me with my golf. My pleasure. <laughs>